Hey guys, my name is Sky. I'm back with another video. If you haven't seen my last video about my brachioplasty surgery, what are you doing? You should probably go look at that. It's very interesting to me personally. For those who don't know, who haven't seen my other video, on August 7th, the day after my Beyonce concert, I went to get a brachioplasty surgery. So that is the um, removal of excess skin and fat from the upper arm. So I got on this arm. And this arm and I'm loving the results um go check that video out for the before and after because it's pretty drastic to me personally um and I wanted to just talk about some of the recovery tips some specific things do I let me see if I don't have a lamp in here and I kind of want some more lighting so let me see if I could just brighten up my laptop a little bit whatever so um a few things so first I'm going to talk about some things that I got for my recovery I got a pillow that's like a I forgot what it's called yogi pillow it's like big and it sits up like this I actually have it in my dorm room but it's it's really big I don't feel like picking it up and putting it down. the thing I like about it is like you can sit in the middle of your bed and still sit up because you don't really want to be flat on your back when you're recovering because it's hard to get up because you can't use your arms and then you got your bandages and you compress it's just gonna be a lot going on yeah um, I use the wedge that I got off of Amazon the most to actually go to sleep like at night with and I had like my cover it was, it was real cool. I got my surgery during the summer and it's really really hot in my room so I even went out and got a whole brand new like air conditioning unit for my room because I knew that it would make recovery like 10 times harder if I was like sweaty and hot and miserable all the time and I'm glad I did because it was actually pretty hot in my house and in my room it was cool so make sure you have pillows like two pillows like i literally bought i bought the big pillow i bought like all this stuff to make sure that i was comfortable and then the main thing that made me the most comfortable was like two <laughs> two old pillows that I just propped up under my like arm because like the incision was it was it was numb to this day it's still numb to the touch kind of but like you can when you're healing you can feel like your arms draining or like that something's not quite right because it's not you have an open wound in your arms so my mom bought me this like bathroom stick that you like put the toilet paper on there and then like you use it i didn't need to use it me personally me personally but then again um i didn't have i know some people they get the um auxiliary where they remove the armpit and i got the first consultation did i talk about this in my other video i should have probably watched my other video i had two consultations for my surgery the first one was at a doctor who shall not be named it was at his office i booked the actual surgery date in like three weeks before i was like sorry i'm gonna have to move on with another person and so i canceled it um just the vibes wasn't right i they weren't communicating i didn't feel comfortable i just something in my heart was telling me mm -mm. so i got with a new doctor dr salman ashraf in um in arundel county and he's been amazing. I don't have like one complaint about my experience there. What was my point? What was my point, y'all? What was my point? Oh my gosh, what was I talking about? Hold on, what was... Yeah, yeah, that's weird, because what, what was I talking about? Okay, that's what I was talking about. The first consultation that I did with the doctor that I canceled on, he wanted to remove my armpit along with the brachioplasty and I was like I I don't think I need it because you can clearly see where the skin needed to be cut and I I was planning too much around that basically I went to school two weeks after my surgery and I felt like if I had my armpit cut that that would like delay the healing process obviously so um as I was saying to my point I didn't need the stick but then again I didn't get my armpit cut I know some people get that and that's um an additional layer of healing that you'll probably need to consider so um, if you haven't thought about that, maybe that's a tool that could be useful to you. Um, I had a lot of help from my mom and my best friend. So recovery was pretty easy to me. I'd do it all over again. Make sure that you take pictures because the day after you'll be swollen, but that's probably, pro probably the closest um, to your result that you'll see early on. And then after I think six weeks is when all the swelling goes down. A few days after, your surgery you're gonna be like i paid all that money and my arm is still really big and you can't really gauge what your arm actually looks like so when you take that picture on that first day you'll be like okay i know that that's what it's supposed to look like don't mind the swelling on my arm 
Oh. Anyway. So, um, these walls are so thin in my dorm. When I would get swollen, uh, of course, you have to wear your compression garment. I wore mine like 23 hours a day. Um, like, I would shower and like put it back on. They felt like hot balloons. That's, that's what I describe it. Like two hot balloons sitting by your side. Because then it, you can't feel your arm because it's numb. So it's just kind of like, it's uncomfortable. And then because your arms are healing, I forgot. It's been a while since I took a medical class. But your body's making a reaction that's making it heat up a little bit more. So the temperature of your arms feel different than your actual body temperature. That was my personal experience. So I like to keep the compression garment on at all times because every time I took it off, I just felt like going into my point number three, showering. It wasn't extremely bad, but it was a doozy. So I think for the first week I had tape on my scar. So you couldn't see the actual scar. I was trying to be so careful because you can't feel anything really because it's numb, at least for my case because you can't feel anything you can't identify when you're actually hurting yourself like when you're opening a stitch or you're moving the wrong way or you're like causing yourself to bleed you can't feel that really so i was making sure to be extra careful i didn't want my arms to touch me because it was hot the water i didn't want the water to splash on my scar and like get on the tape and have it fall off and disrupt the healing process because it was a lot going on when you first get your scar and you look at it it's kind of like i don't know if you've ever seen a stitch but it's kind of like I insert a picture. Three, two, one. It's kind of like a um outward, you know, it's kind of external. So I was trying to avoid getting the tape wet. After a week, my surgeon said that I could like wash my entire body and get the soap and water all over my arms. I would just let the water <laughs> and the soap like rinse off of it because you can't really like rub it. Um, but because of the location of the scar, I had to hit the pits. Y'all, I, I needed Every single day, I know they're like, don't shower or wash for the first day. But baby, I needed, I don't care what I had to do. I would literally be in the bathroom for like 30, 40 minutes at a time just trying to like get my armpits squared away. Like my scar extends right into the middle of my armpit. And so um, it was hard trying to like navigate the area around it without disrupting the tape or pulling on anything. So that was a time um next thing is eating okay when i got out of surgery i was told that i was going to wake up in my compression garment but i didn't i woke up in my bandages it, my arms were like completely wrapped and i kind of prefer it that way at least for the first day because um when i was draining it would just get on the the padding even though i didn't really drain that much because i had the wraps on it made it difficult for my arms to bend. It was hard to put the food in my mouth. And the first day, my best friend was spoon feeding me, okay, literally. Um, but then the next day when I got the compression garment on, I was able to feed myself. When I was taking, I was taking like three different medications. So you need to eat on those medications or your head is gonna hurt. Make sure that you have, me, my favorite is crackers. Those are my go-to when you're not hungry but you need to put something on your stomach for food crackers they maybe three or four was like the most uncomfortable um and then again i had no pain this whole entire time it was just more discomfort i think those days i was swelling the most so it felt like my arms were big my hand was swelling a little bit once i took some medication went to sleep for a little bit i was fine so for my garment i had like a I actually, I actually prefer it this way. When you usually see like an arm lift surgery, it's kind of like a, like a jacket type thing, like a corset that you button like this. But my surgeon gave me like one that's just on the arms, like it straps in the back and then it leaves like everything else free, which was a lot more freeing and like comfortable to like move around in. So I didn't feel so constricted or restricted or limited, whatever the word. I had a second one because I needed one to use while I was washing it because I, I never wanted to keep it off because my arms felt like hot balloons. As far as my scar, the scar is very long. I always, I will tell you, this will be my number one thing about this surgery. If you are more worried about the scar, the long scar on your arm than you are about your original size of your arm, I would advise just trying to work the arms out. I, be, 
that's what I would say because it, it's a lot of money. It's, you know, it's not a, a super invasive surgery, but there's some recovery, there's some downtime to it. And it's a long permanent scar. So if, if those things don't outweigh how you feel about your natural arms, I would not get it, me personally. But me, I never ever wore my arms outside of like a, a long sleeve shirt or if it was short sleeve, it couldn't come past my elbow because I did not want to expose my arms. If it's not that serious for you and you're more so worried about the scar and you're like, I really don't want that big long scar, I could probably just do with my arm, you just do with your arm. I've had a situation with my arms for a long time and I just, I could not recover for some reason. I'm sorry. My arm is a little bigger than my right one. That was my elbow that just cracked. If you heard that, it's constant all day. But I'm not mad at it. You know, any any plastic surgery that you do, there's going to be risks. There's going to be like, it's not going to be perfect, but it's satisfactory to me. This scar looks a lot better than the other one. Um, it's flatter. I'm not sure what I did differently to this arm. Maybe that's just the way it heals. I don't know if the hypertrophic scarring on this arm is permanent. Okay, I just realized when I'm editing that I didn't show my right arm. Or I, I did, I know I did. I just deleted it on accident. But this is the right arm. It's a lot smaller, in my opinion. I know y'all see that. It's a lot smaller than my right arm. Hold on. As far as the hypertrophic scarring, um, you see how it's a bit raised and lighter than my skin tone. Um, my family, when I got, when I made the decision to get this done, they were like, are you sure you want that long scar? That's a big, long scar and it's permanent forever. When have you seen my arms originally? Like I never exposed my arms. So what difference would it make if I have a scar on it? Because as if I was going to, uh, wear a tank top either way. Well, now I do wear tank tops. <laughs> yeah. That just goes to my point that I was making earlier. If you are concerned about the scar more than you are about like reducing the size of your arm don't get it done if my phone says i'm running out of storage one more time I, I don't know okay so something that i really wanted to talk about was um high bmi plastic surgery and why i got it done before hitting my weight loss goal 